Hello guys, Stephen Ducks here. Welcome to this YouTube videos. Today we're going to talk about a little bit different strategy compared to the normal method we're talking about pretty much in other videos. So this strategy is specifically designed for swing traders that won't have a passive income by trading penny stocks and micro cap stocks. Let me introduce this strategy and make sure let me know if there you have any questions or leave a comment below. As usual, please click the like button and subscribe and it's going to really help our YouTube channel to produce more videos. And let's get into uh, today's content. So in the first point I want to talk about in the course of trading years, there is about five to 10, maybe up to 20 tickers in 2020. They all formed different kinds of new patterns. And this pattern has been existing in penny stocks or micro cap for a while. But as I said, they don't happen that often. Maximum they happen between 20 to 30 times a year. It's a very viable strategy for part-time trader. And let's give you an example. So the first example I want to give will be BNGO. Uh, this is a little bit different compared to other examples. And I will let you know why it's different. There's going to be two types to use the specific strategies. And one of the type is not very ideal. So uh, it's really easy to mix two of them up. So uh, let me give you a clear examples of how to really spot this type of strategy. So first of all, uh, let's look at BNGO. This is a ticker that if you look at the long term, went from 50 cents to almost $7. So the total gain will be over a thousand percent. The first thing you want to look at will be the total gain in percentage. It has to be over 1000%. Uh, also, it has to be above $3. Normally, that if the stock is under $3, it's not going to produce the results you want to. So in this case, BNGO is definitely over $3 and it's over 1000%. For this specific strategies, the flow and the market cap doesn't have a restriction. So it can be as high as it want. Uh, as long as it's not over $2 billion or more. So that's the first criteria. Second criteria you want to look at will be how much dollar has been traded up into the highest consolidation. So BNGO, if you can see it, uh, it consolidated between 5.7 to around $7. So in that specific day, it traded close to 600 million volume. So 600 million times six to seven in terms of total dollar traded is around three to four billion dollar traded in January 4th. So that's a lot of resistance. To be able to use this as a swing trade, you will have to short under the consolidation within about 10 to 15%. Your potential entry have to be really close to the consolidation because Normally, the consolidation is pretty wide. So it has a decent range between the high of the consolidation and the low of the consolidation. So the high of the consolidation is around 6.7. Low of the consolidation is 5.9. So to be able to find the entry after market open, the closest you can get for BNGO will be 5.8 to 6.5 and risk the high of the consolidation will be seven dollar area so personally for me i will try to manage my positions into the best spot that has the correct risk management so in my head uh, i will size in about 30 percent around 5.5 to 5.6 that's right below the consolidation and if it tends to go up and keep going test the highest of the consolidation, I would need to have a risk. In this case, I would rather be as close as to my risk as possible. I would have a second entry point around 6.5 to average my first entry point, and that will give me the average of 6.3 to 6.1. So the ultimate position compared to the risk, I'll be around 6.2 risking around seven. So I'm risking 80 cents out of a $7 stock, which is not that bad. And also you can size in a decent amount of positions because BNGO traded 500 million shares per day. So it provides a decent and sufficient liquidity for you to go in and out without any trouble. And also you don't have to worry about affecting the stock price. So once you find your ultimate positions, sometimes you don't get to sizing the full position you want, but the normal risk reward you can get is up to 50% of 
off the top, sometimes 75% in terms of how long you want to hold. So for BNGO, maximum reward if you try to cut the gains in half. So let me give you a decent example here. So let's say this starting gain is 50 cents. Put the second horizontal line up to here and we want to measure the entire range that was produced for the last five days and you cut the stock in half so the max reward is anywhere between uh, 3.5 to 3.7 that's after about a week or two but also it's dependent on the chart as well you want to look at where the major support is and to be able to find the maximum reward point so for BNGO, for this specific case, uh, you have a massive support around two to three. So shorting around 5.8 with 30% positions because we didn't get to sizing uh, into the middle of the consolidation, covering around uh, 3.5 or above $3, you will be able to make 50% from your original positions, pretty close to 50% and this pattern will happen again and again. So three criteria for this pattern, stocks has to go up around 1000% or above 1000%. Second, the market cap has to be below $2 billion. Third, you will have to short below the consolidation. If there's no consolidations, don't touch it because you are a swing trader and you want to look for the perfect criteria to hold for days, not uh, intraday trades. You want to just get into the actions and be able to make money off that. You want the stock to fit your criteria, to meet your criteria and follow the rules. So that's for entries. In terms of risk management part, uh, make sure your risk is within 15%. If it exceeds 15%, make sure sizing is small uh, because at that point, it's probably not worth it to short a stock if you're risking more than 15%. The last part will be the exit part. Normally, stock will cut in half of the entire gain. Make sure measure the entire gain, then use that 50% as guide and also be able to find the support to get like a neutralized area. It's going to be a range uh, for BNGO is anywhere between three to 3.5. Depending on different stocks, you will have a different support and a different 50% area. So that's up to you to find out. And that will be all of the parts that I can cover for this specific swing strategies. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button and I will see you guys in the next one.